Welcome back everyone. In this video, I am going to be showing you how you can use Canvas Learning Management System for those of you that are teaching online. For assignments like journaling, I know many of us have journal assignments for our students, no matter what age or level or subject you're teaching. And you want a way to be able to incorporate that into Canvas, whether you're teaching online, hybrid, or remotely. It's a great way to keep your students engaged and also to keep your inbox clear. And I wanna show you how I utilize Canvas and the assignment functions for journaling. That way it's private, it's easy for the students to upload, and it's also easy for you to grade. If you haven't done so already, please consider clicking the subscribe button, turn on the bell notification, so you don't miss any more videos. I'm really trying to get more videos out, especially for those of you that are teaching online and transferring to that online remote distance teaching very quickly. So let's get started. So I wanna show you an example first off. This is an older class of mine, one of my acting classes. I have them do a reflection journal at the end of every week. So you can see here, I have week one reflection journal, I have week two reflection journal, and it goes on and on for the entire semester. Now this semester was a 16 week course, so they knew that they had a journal due every single Friday at midnight. And you can pick any due date that really works for you. So let's look at an example here. So this is week one reflection journal. This is in an assignment. So first off, let me show you how I do it, and then I will take you through creating this journal assignment. So you can see week one reflection journal. I give them three bullet points. This is your acting diary. It's an exercise um, in self-reflection meant to increase self-awareness. And I ask them to write stream of conscious style, write it to yourself, for yourself. These will be graded on how well you relate your interest to your acting. So you, have, you wanna put the information here for them so they know what to write. And then you can see here the due date, and then you can see that it's assigned from for every single person. And then when they go in and write it, if I click speed grader after their journals are submitted, their names will pop up on the top right that you're not seeing on my screen for privacy. And then their, their journal will actually pop up here on the left side in a box, just like text. So instead of them doing it on paper, they're doing it right here online, and then you're gonna be able to see it, read it, and offer notes and comments on the right. You can grade it as well. You can also, on the bottom right, you can click an attachment, a file upload. You can click this media box right here, and you can send them a video response. You can see it'll open up right here. And you can record media right here in Canvas and send them a video response if you'd like to, or upload media. You can also go to the left side over here on this bottom right button and you can click the audio icon and you can record an audio verbal response for them if you'd like to. So this is kind of how I set it up. Let me show you how to create one. So if you want to create a journal assignment, so the first thing you do is click on the Assignments tab on the far left. After you click on Assignments, go up to the top right, click on the blue button where it says Assignment over here on the top right section. Click Add Assignment and give this assignment a name. So let's say Journal Week 1. It could be a reflection, a journal assignment, anything that you'd like them to write that you would normally do in class. In the description box, tell them what you would like them to do. So I would be very, very specific on this as well. Give them bullet points. Do you want it to be all sentences? Do you want it to be freehand? Do you want it to have their um, thoughts based upon the work that week? Whatever you'd like them to respond upon, put it in this description box. So after you describe it here in this box, you can also click other elements up here you can see. You can put a YouTube video in, you can embed a link if you wanted them to watch something. You have other options up here as well, just like any other assignment. So I would put the description in here like you saw prior. If you are going to assign points in it, you would put the points that is going to have value in that box. And then you can click what assignment group you want. You can make a new group of just journal entries or you can just leave it in assignments and then I like to go back and put it in my module. And then how do you want the points to be displayed to the student? Do you want it to be points, a letter grade like A, B, C, or D? Do you want this to not even be graded at all so they don't have to do it if they don't want to? Or do you want just complete or incomplete? Meaning they did it, yes, thumbs up, check mark, or they didn't do it, X. 
but no grade attached to it. You have those options as well. A lot of people I suggest doing this, complete or incomplete, so they can get to know how to use it the first time and then perhaps make it a grade. You can also have this not count towards the final grade if you'd like to by ticking this box right here. And then this is the important part for a journal entry. Go down to online. You do want it to be an online assignment. Click the text entry box right here. When the student goes to turn in this assignment, a text box will open for them right in Canvas that they can type their journal entry in. So tick text entry box. You do have an option here with file upload if you'd like them to create this on a PDF document and then upload that file to you, you would click file upload instead of text box. But I like doing the text box entry and my students really responded well to this. Okay, um, they can do multiple submissions here or you can just limit it to one attempt, meaning one submission. I keep it unlimited for now. I haven't had too many problems with it, but play around, see what works for you. Okay, it's not a group assignment, so we would not tick this. We don't want peer reviews on a journal entry because we want them to remain private. It is to everyone. And then you would put the due date and the available from and until. Now what I like to do is put the date I want it to be due. I have them due every single week the same time so it's consistent for the student. And then what I like to do is I like to give them a window of time. So if they're journaling every single week, I give them the entire window to go ahead and upload it. Now, if you want them to respond based upon their work that week, you may want to only let it be open later on the week so they're forced to kind of wait to respond based upon the work they did that week in class. After you finish this, you would click the Save Blue button on the right, or if you're ready to go ahead and publish it so the students see it, you would click Save and Publish down here at the bottom. If you click Save, you're going to then have to go back in and tick it to make it published for the student. So. Let's say we click save here. So you can see that my description would be here as well. It's not published. So then what I'd have to do is publish it at the top. It turns green and now the students can see it. If I don't publish it, then the students cannot see it. Now, what I like to do then as well is the journal assignments are in here, but I like to then go into the modules and I would put it into the module that you're using. So I don't have any modules set in this class because it was not online, it was face-to-face, -face, but they did their journals online. This makes it really easy for the student to turn in a journal reflection. They can do it on their phone, they can do it on their iPad, they can use the Canvas mobile app on either of their devices, or they can do it on their laptop. What's really great is this is going to make it easier for the student, and it's going to make it easier for you, saving you paper, saving you time, you do it in speed grade or in grade it, and you can continue on with your day. I hope this helps. Don't forget to click subscribe, turn on the bell notification, and I will see you in the next video. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. Happy teaching, everyone.